Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I begin by bringing one Mars orbiter into orbit around Deimos and another into orbit around Phobos, or at least trying to. Though in the midst of all that I also have to take care of that Jupiter mission. So we're bouncing around these planets for a bit. And so this is the first one lifting its orbit up so that it is tangent to... Uh, no, that doesn't look very tangent, does it? Uh, it was supposed to be tangent to Deimos' orbit. Oh, there we go. Deimos was, just wasn't showing up. Let's target that. All right. That's a little bit too far, but all right. And we should... Oh, inclination correction would be better over there. We could probably do some of it here. I mean, maybe we don't need to correct inclination and we'll just meet up with it at the descending node. But Deimos is so small, maybe it's better to just do it. Okay, ignition. Any more signs? Not really, not right now. Okay, so I will just fully correct inclination. And it doesn't want to show me an encounter. We'll deal with that when we get there. Okay, so that's in three days. The other one. Oh, we should make sure this is still charging. It looks fine. All right, ignition. That still looks good too. This one will just get at the tangency point, I think. Maybe we'll do a correction out here first. Okay, extra correction with this one. Okay, back to the Deimos one. And somehow it's facing the opposite direction now. Like, literally the opposite direction. Uh... Okay, ignition. Okay. And I think this is going to have the next burn as well. And I'll just use the closest approach distance up there. Okay. Just looking at that. See, now this is not claiming an encounter, but that sort of is after a day. It's probably close enough. That's definitely close enough. Is it going to admit it? Okay, there we go. All right, let's just get a SOI change alarm. We're not hitting it. We'll still have to act pretty quickly, but this doesn't have that long a stage time. Okay, so we've got our Deimos encounter all set up, but that's probably going to get messed up. But wait, the, this is good for sunlight if it stays here. Let me try SAS. All right. So the other one, the one going for Phobos. Okay, ignition. Inclination correction. Well, our next thing is in five days with this. At least this here, because of where I placed the node, will show us an encounter based on the burn. All right, so that will be the burn that we do. That will be after the Jupiter mission thing. Okay, Deimos encounter, here we come. Yep, SAS did not hold us pointed towards the sun either. Nothing can keep us pointed at the sun, apparently. Used to be with the old persistent rotation, this would have worked. Okay, well, that'll be fine altitude. There's Deimos. Shouldn't take too much effort. Might as well get some science, though. Okay, transmit. Transmit. And transmit. Admittedly, Kerbalism would make the science a lot more interesting. I do not deny that. Okay, ignition. 
Okay, might as well use Arceus for the rest. Ah, uh, the periapsis is going down. Okay. Well, this is not pointed at the sun. Let me put caps lock on, then try and turn it. Ah, uh, the caps lock did not work. Eh, will it end up staying in? <laughs> I think so. Okay, rotating as if that does anything. Ah, we're not quite there. Um, going retrograde a little bit more. Okay, now it's captured. Okay, I mean, I think it's captured. The uh, apoapsis is not quite visible. That's as much as I can do for that. All right, we're spinning. It's possible that something can be done over a different biome. But I think we've got enough out of this. It'll just be a commsat around Deimos for now. Okay, let's turn to the Jupiter mission next, actually. Yeah, that's inevitable. They're always facing the opposite direction when I get to them. I mean, the trajectory in should not have had us turning completely around from there to there. I mean, at, but when we entered the SOI, we were over here. We would be pointed at the sun like that. And over here, we should be pointed in the same direction. There was no reason why we should be pointed in a different direction if it retained the same direction. So, I don't know. The version of persistent rotation that's been implemented as part of realism overhaul does not seem to be... Hmm, I don't know what it's doing. Okay. But anyway, let me go to periapsis with this and we will try to capture. Well, it looks like we're going to have trouble with communication at periapsis. So let's, uh, we don't have a whole lot to spare, do we? Uh, maybe we can do a little bit earlier like that. We only have 41 seconds of propellant anyway, so yeah, let's just try and do it quickly, but on this side. Um, we're pointing at the sun and recharging. Oh, is this a... Uh, seems like they're only getting 31 watts a piece. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just barely survive. At least until capture, but we're not going to survive too much longer than that. Okay, Jupiter. Here we are. And capture burn. I mean, it's not required that we capture or anything. We didn't even pick up a contract relevant to this. Well, let's see. We do have magnetometer scan to transmit back. While well, we still can. Orbital telescope observations. And radio plasma scan. We should be fancy and like dip into the atmosphere or something. Anyway, let me just focus on capturing. Seems like a capture. We still have a hundred left here. Not that we can do anything with it, but it's there. Going 55 kilometers per second over here. Okay, well, 158 day orbit, so pretty long orbit, but it is an orbit. Pointed at the sun for now, but not getting enough charge. And we've done what we can here. Well, I'm not going to hang around. We do have a Jupiter orbiter, it's just going to lose charge eventually. And it barely got into orbit. Okay, Phobos time. First we have to get into a situation where we are going to have an encounter. Sort of not showing that anymore there. Okay, let's RCS a little bit. Uh, come on. Ah! Uh, Okay, there we go.
Ah, uh, fine. That's that's fine. Okay, well, power is okay for now. Let's see if we can go around here. Uh, just before this Mars Orbiter Goo edition comes in. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, it's just Mars getting in the way, isn't it? Okay. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Um, shouldn't we be in Phobos SY right now? Not yet. Oh, there we go. Hey, ignition. Science. Oh, this one doesn't even have the stuff extended. Okay, plasma wave scan. Oh, no, I got the other one first. Plasma wave scan. And visuals. Okay, let's not CS this. Well, that's pretty good for Phobos. Alright, we are in orbit around Phobos. But if I turn towards the sun, it's going to be bad, so I'll just keep it like this. Still, in, uh, still with charge and everything. We could get specific biomes and such, or get lower with Phobos. We haven't gotten lower with Phobos, but I'm, I'm just going to leave them alone for now. So we've gotten into orbit around Jupiter, Phobos, and Deimos. And now there's another rival, this one for Mars. Alright, yes. We totally don't need this this one. <laughs> but fine. Fine. I'll just take care of it roughly. Okay, well, I mean, I kept it pretty high there, so I think we'll have plenty of communication through periapsis here. Just an ERCOM sat, basically. Oh, we actually got new surface observations with the orbital telescope. Nothing else should have anything new. I guess the goo. Okay, ignition though. Ah yeah, we got 7.2 from the goo. Okay, it is firmly in orbit around Mars. And I'm just gonna leave it in this high orbit. And let us move on to the first space station. Alright, so we are launching station 1 without anybody on it, of course. And here we go. Alright, well, I want it in line with the moon. Seems like a convenient thing to do. And it's gotta be a night launch. Okay, a bit wobbly, but SAS on, throttles up, and no, we don't want caps lock. I have caps lock on, I forgot to turn it off with the other vehicle. Anyway, ignition, 13 engines are lit, and go. Let's see. a stub of a rocket. Oh, transient shutdown on one engine. That's probably fine. Contract stipulates above 400 kilometers is where we need it. Okay, high g-force. And staging. We have two Hydrolox engines here. And fairings. And fairings are off. Delta V wise, we should be good. These can reignite, and we do have RCS. So we could use this stage to place it. I think we've got fuel tanks, yeah. So we don't need to use any fuel on here in order to place it in 400 and above. And we can still initially keep things tight. Not that tight, but, you know, tighter than going straight to 400. 
the solar panels are sort of pathetic, but <laughs> until we unlock bigger ones, they're all we've got. Maybe I'll leave this stage suborbital and have it deorbit. I guess that would be prudent. There's plenty of fuel up here, but it's all RCS. So, no, I won't. <laughs> uh, sun tracking error, huh. Okay, that's above 400 on one end. Yeah, we better just let it do its thing. We've already got a sun tracking error on one solar panel. Great. What is this, Skylab? <laughs> uh, well... All right, selling the fuel down. And ignition. And that should be good enough. I mean, it's lopsided, but actually we'll have the station do the rest. Right now it qualifies at least. It's got that check marked. Oh, it's got that check marked. That's the important bit. So it recognizes that this is the space station. And we're gonna let it be. And this will boost forward very, very, very slowly. I wish I had put a controller on here so I could deorbit it, but I did not. Okay, let us do go to Apoapsis and try to circularize it a little bit more. It has a little green box on it showing that it is, in fact, the station that everybody's gonna be interested in. I needed much more powerful RCS on here. <laughs> These are only 100, well actually 84 Newton blocks. Great. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna wait for this. Okay, it, it's good enough. It is in orbit. Uh, hopefully since the solar panels, three of them track, it'll be okay. Well, the one that isn't tracking isn't red anymore. Maybe it's decided to start tracking. I don't know what- this one- okay, now it's got power. They each have plenty of power though, so... Should be alright. We'll, we'll have our butt into the sun. Okay, so there we have it. Station 1 has been placed, and now we just need to bring crew to it, and that's what I will do in the next episode. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.